Ariel, it is frigid out here. I think my lips are going numb. Uh, I know you have a good, a lot of plentiful information on these wind chills. Yeah, so that's the wind chill that you're feeling. It's actually lower than the actual temperature. So we have a wind chill advisory like Greg mentioned, and we also have a hard freeze warning. A hard freeze means that it's 28 degrees or lower, which it is this morning for several hours. That could cause some issues to things like plumbing, but the wind chill is how cold it feels on your skin when you factor in the wind and this happens whenever the wind takes away the layer of warm air that sits right above your skin, which is what helps insulate you. So this is how it works. Our bodies just naturally lose heat through something called convection. And when that happens, we see that this layer of heat kind of just sits above your skin. So whenever there's no wind, a temperature of 20 degrees will actually well feel like 20 degrees. But then whenever the wind comes into play, it's going to take that warm layer of air that sits right above your skin that normally keeps you warm and it is going to whisk it away. And when that happens, it allows the temperature in your body to drop a little bit faster. So like we've been mentioning, if you do have to go outside, consider the wind chill. By the way, pets also feel the wind chill. One way you can combat this is by layering up and making sure you cover up any exposed skin so that the heat stays trapped close to your body and you stay warmer. Uh, again, that's the hats, the scarves, the hats, uh, the gloves, I should say, and the layers. Just do it all. Multiple Back. hats. <laughs> Multiple all hats. Back to you. <laughs>